fire. To me, it is the most important of them all. And tinder is is very crucial in starting a fire. And um, most common mistakes that beginners make is they use too big of a wood. So think small to large. The smaller you got, the better. You know, toothpick, tinsel, etc., etc., etc. But tinder is very, very, very crucial. Very crucial in uh, getting a fire going. You know, your bird's nest, um, work your uh, your barks up, make them real fibrous. But when starting, you know, when you start a fire, you must, uh, you know, always, obviously, play, uh, place a base down. So as the ground don't sink up or uh, soak up your heat, you know, and steal your fire away from you. But we're going to go through a, a few, a few uh, fire lays, if if you if you will. And the first one I'm going to start off with is the range fire. And all it is basically is just a log cabin. Or, or first, first off, let me get over here on the back side. Okay, the range fire here, as you see here, I've got two large sticks on either side making a V. And in the smaller portion, that's where I'm going to do my cooking. But up to the front, I'm going to have a, a log cabin structure. And over time, you know, as the fire goes, the log cabin will crumble in on itself, creating a nice little bed of coals. And what you would do there... Just take the coals and scrape them back under your uh, your pots and pans. Now, only have your V as wide as your pots and pans are, and that you know that's a that's just um, a little way to uh, you know cook your foods out on the trail if you have an open fire. But uh, you know it's. Uh, the range fire. Well, you got your canteen cup, and then obviously your mess cu uh, mess kit there. But let me get the next uh, fire lay set up, and we'll get back. Okay. Although this wood is a little bit too big, but you know that's all I, that's all I got to work with for right now. But the long fire. Um, it doesn't matter how long the wood is. It just prevents you from from chopping it, and it also puts fire back or heat back to your back to, uh, into your shelter. But, you know, like I said, you get a base. All I'm, you know, you simulating here is just the the wood bark, bark from the tree. That's going to act as a base to get me off the ground, and then. Your little bird's nest, one with pencil size, pencil size uh, twigs, and then you move up to a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. But put a heat shield behind it to act, and that's all this is. Is I mean, you know, I just got a little tripod. And slant it on an angle, and I just got wood stacked up on an angle. Now you can go in behind it and fill it in with debris, or put a trash bag, you know, between that, um, an extra, an extra um, space blanket, etc., etc. But the object of the game, you know, is put a quarter of your wood in, three quarters of your wood out. And as it burns, all you do is just reach out your hand and push them in on both sides. The long fire. I mean, you know, self-explanatory on that one. Okay, your basic uh, log cabin fire, you know, start out with your base. Get you a small bird's nest going on. And just start stacking your wood.
I mean, this is a, a good little way to uh, dry out your wood and cook as well once you get a stack or two built up. Put a little bit more tinder on it. And then as as the uh, as the wood starts to burn, it'll crumble in on itself, giving you a nice set of coals to uh, to cook from. But you know, standard the standard little uh, log cabin fire. Okay, here's your basic little TP fire. You see here, you got your tender bundle. You got some smaller sticks around that, some larger, and then larger. Um, this fire is excellent for signaling and putting out light. Standard TP fire. Okay, here's another little fire. I like to call it the hit and run fire because, uh, you know, it's you want to heat you up a quick cup of coffee when you're out on the trail or whatnot. Basically, all you do is just build build a corner like you or, or yeah, a corner of a log cabin with little small sticks into a V. Place you two sticks on the ground so you can set your cup or pot on, and you're just going to be lighting the corner up here. That way, you set your pot on or your cup. And it heats this side up, and it prevents, you know, prevents from your handle getting hot. But, you know, that's one little fire I like to call the hit-and-run fire. 